check it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. If it is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. And today we're going over a new release by Genre Perfumes, LouisianaRoma.com. If you're interested in checking out their site, they are a little limited on the website, uh, but on the Facebook group, every single four to six weeks or so, the owner goes ahead and opens a up in ordering window now the one that just passed gave us this deliciousness today's review is all about gourmand fragrances it's going to be about marshmallows and raspberries and and vanilla and just wonderful if you're a gourmand fanatic like myself buckle up it's gonna be an amazing ride your mouth is gonna water the entire video I promise um, yeah it, we're gonna go through this scent I'm gonna talk to you about what it smells like any differences in the uh, genres take on this fragrance we're going to do side by side comparison to house of CR up uh, mini mouse so if there's something you're interested in go ahead and continue watching consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos let's get right into this mini more was released you guys in three different sizes there was the 50 ml bottle the 30 ml bottle and then i do not have it but a 3 ml sample size i went i went full throttle i said i need me <laughs> the 50 and then i went ahead and got the approval to show you guys the 30 ml bottle okay they were limited to one per person uh but you know i really really wanted to get a hold of it for you instead of just showing you the picture uh, the 50 ml bottle is actually nice and sleek even though it is 50 ml it's it's thin it's a little bit flat and it's super super cute it has the uh, genre perfume symbol here with the mini um looking like mini there with the cute pink bow it does have a lovely spray and it is halfway gone <laughs> not because i i have sprayed this much in the short amount of time i've had it uh but i did share it with some people on the genre perfumes website because um i mean on the facebook group because i felt like oh some people missed it they really want to know what it smells like um you know so i did share some samples um and i hope everybody's receiving them already uh running a little low plus i figured since i do have did was able to get the 30 ml why not share it <laughs> um all right so here's the 30 ml bottle now this one is not refillable this one is you can unscrew the top to this bottle and it's refillable so that's exciting <laughs> um the 30 ml is right here it also sprays amazingly it has the best automizers genre perfumes just <laughs> so so nice i do in truly enjoy the automizers to these uh to these fragrances oh that was great all right you guys let's get into the fragrance now i showed you the bottles uh depending on your preference whether you want a small you know 30 ml you can throw in your purse um or you want one for home <laughs> then go ahead with the 50 ml they're both super super cute you guys now for the original fragrance i was able to get a hold of a sample size so these sample sizes here it came with two of them uh it came with mickey you guys and it came with minnie and i understand why minnie gets all the attention mickey mickey is very salty ocean air type scent to me i think it was it i believe it has some orange blossom but it's a freshie it's a fresh type fragrance and i wasn't too um excited about it to tell you the truth when i sprayed it and i was like oh maybe if it wouldn't have been marketed with such a fruity gourmand marshmallow scent it would have been better um you know but after spraying mini and then you spray mickey and you're like oh okay i mean it's nice i'm not saying it's not um but it's a fresh you know fresh scent fresh citrus scent with some orange blossom um yeah but no mini is super super amazing oh i put her in there but i want to spray her for you guys so we can get the top notes all right so what do we have in here you guys the notes for this fragrance are delectable we have marshmallow in the top whipped cream raspberry caramel and coconut in the mid and in the base vanilla musk and cedar it's all we got going on here and it makes for a wonderful fragrance um when this fragrance opens up i'm talking about the original here 
scent. Oh, you get a very sweet, sweet scent. I almost finished it already, <laughs> the sample here. It's a 1.8 uh, ml sample. On this side is where I wore the original fragrance. A couple of times I already have done the side by side because I really wanted to see the differences. I get such a very sweet, sweet whipped marshmallow scent. But, in, but at the same time, it smells to me like a whole bag of runts, uh, you know, candies like Laffy Taffy, um, you know, like a whole candy shop is what comes at me initially. Extremely sweet. Um, when I was younger, I used to have a lot of time on my hands, apparently, and the little runt candies, I would take the color off of them. And then I would just have them, you know, in my hand, like between my teeth, kind of shaving off once the white candy of the runts would get would get soft then i would just kind of shave it off <laughs> that's the scent that this is reminding me of is those runts candies the fruit candies but the white part of it not necessarily uh you know the outer coating fruit with the different uh, flavors uh, but that's what i get that's the sense that i get uh sometimes in fragrances i get like those uh really powdery smarties I don't get Smarties here. <laughs> uh, this is more, you know, really sweet runts, uh, you know, or and or Laffy Taffy as well. After that kind of nuance uh, dissipates, I do get a very fruity essence. Uh, the raspberries come in here to play uh, with that with that um, coconut as well. I don't get a strong, strong coconut. The coconut, I feel it's like in those fragrances that just list coconut as maybe coconut water. Uh, I don't get a strong coconut. I can't detect it too much. The whipped cream notes and, and you know, and the marshmallow are what, what stand out to me. What the main components to the fragrance to me is the marshmallow fruity tones uh, and then that dry down van of vanilla um, and, and a little bit of cedar wood. Uh, so in the original fragrance, you guys, on skin, af in the heart of the wear, I end up getting a slight cosmetic uh, touch, like a cosmetic feel. Not full on iris or oris butter or all of that jazz, uh, but an essence of that I feel in the way background to the original fragrance, um, which I thought was interesting because I don't see any notes here um, that would contribute to that. Uh, what it makes it feel like is very fluffy, <laughs> is, is, is what I would say. She's kind of low uh, sitting on your skin, low projection, uh, you know, a little intimate, if you will, the original uh, House of Siage Mini. Um, you know, that's the wear though. Uh, it did last all day long and a, a good nine hours, but it was, it was intimate. It was an intimate scent. Uh, delectable, of course, but intimate. Um, and then I think that's it for, for the original fragrance. I don't get a huge dose of cedar in the base. I don't get a huge dose of woody uh, tones, but I believe that that's what helps the fragrance, grounds it, and, and makes it uh, last all day long. I did also wear overnight, both of them side by side, and I did wake up with both of uh, the Mini uh, More and the Mini Mouse. Uh, and the Minnie Mouse was, again, really, really soft, a really soft touch. So it is cute, playful, airy, sweet, um, candy shop, you know, dessert vibe is what I get from the original Minnie Mouse. Now, let's talk about Minnie more. Same notes. We have the same notes, the marshmallow, the whipped cream, raspberry, caramel, coconut, vanilla, uh, musk, and cedar. But this fragrance right here, you guys... <sighs> I, it really is many more. <laughs> this is intensified. I mean, this comes at you very ridiculously spot on, similar, the same. I get the exact same uh, tone. I get the exact same feeling of runts candy or Laffy Taffy. I get that. But then I, I get that the raspberry and the whipped cream or, you know, the whipped uh, marshmallow and the cream just stronger. So I, it's not as soft. It's not as fluffy, you guys. It is intense. That is what I'm perceiving. And 
and I'm here for it because it actually had a stronger presence throughout the day and projection if you if projection is important to you many more has that I mean it just goes um, the kids wanted to know what on earth was so good what is that <laughs> I need to know what you're eating I'm like I'm not eating anything it's actually my fragrance you know so they're like oh my gosh so especially my little girl you guys uh, when this is available this will be such a cute gift to give to actually women of any age um, so for for the many more also not just women this is my next point when this starts to dry down you never lose the whipped cream the 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 fruity notes you know that raspberry tone that's in there the marshmallow you never want to lose it but you gain a really strong sandal or cedar wood sorry a really strong woody tone in the base um kind of wanting to lean um if, if you've ever got your nose on Byron's Mula Mula, how it has like some spicy tones there in, in the dry down, uh, Mula Mula by Byron, yes, that is what this to me has in the dry down. Um, I can't detect that too much in the original, like I said, it's light, airy, fluffy, uh, but in many more, in the dry down, it has some strength, you know, it just... I want to say if that's the reason why the original lasted so long, then yes, <laughs> then that's the reason why, uh, you know, the cedar in here being amped up in that dry down is the reason that many more is just so much more stronger and intense um, in that dry down. We're talking 12 hours plus here, you guys, on clothes. Are you kidding me? It is nuclear. On your skin, it lasts. Again, I woke up with it all over, even on my skin when I did the night wear test. And so, uh, and, and the projection is amazing. <laughs> so you're, you're going to fill up a room, uh, at, especially right after you spray it. Uh, it's going to go, it's going to travel. And then throughout the day, it, it tends to taper down a little bit on the projection, but it gives many hours, I mean, eight hours or so, where you're radiating the scent, okay? So if that's important to you, many more has it, all right? So it keeps all of its amazing, delectable gourmand notes, plus it's got us that that uh, sillage, it's got us that, that longevity that some people find very important in their fragrances. Um, I'm not saying that the original Mini Mouse was not long lasting because it was and it was fluffy and marshmallowy and delicious uh, but if you like a stronger scent this is a very very solid option um, especially at the price point you guys the 50 ml bottle will run you $45 and the 30 ml bottle 25 you just cannot beat that that's a wonderful price point uh, you know for a fragrance like this and uh, I, I don't know, I want to say it's uh, close to $400 or so, the original Minnie Mouse. If you are a collector, a, a collector of uh, House of Sillage cupcake fragrances, then by all means, they're always having sales on them, you guys. So don't purchase them full price, I would say. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't own any cupcakes as of yet. But, yeah, I'm, I'm always tempted to get, for example, uh, Passion de la Mode. I really did like that one. And I think I saw it for about $160 one time. And I nearly purchased it, but I didn't. Because <laughs> I don't have a cupcake collection yet. Um, so it's all up to you what, what your preferences are, uh, but these two fragrances are extremely compatible. They smell spot on the minute that you spray both of them, uh, but then they differentiate themselves in intensity, in strength, intensity, and sillage, you know, and projection. Uh, so that's just basically the differences, okay? Um, wonderful fragrance, you guys. I just, I wanted to pair it if you're interested in layering your fragrances, you guys. Uh, there's a comparison out there that I'm going to have to say I don't 100% agree on. And I'll bring it up now before we get into the rest of the layerings. Would I layer it with this? I don't see why not. <laughs> this is called Buanta Lenti. It's one of my favorites. I'll actually list in the description the video that I have for Buanta Lenti because I have so many layerings as well. This is an ice cream sundae type scent. Um, Buanta Lenti has that same a wonderful just feels like a, a dessert in a bottle 
Oh, it's it's got different nuances though. It does have a banana note in here as well. So this is a banana split. <laughs> if you want to add a banana split to your mini more, spray on Bondolenti. I will say Bondolenti is not a strong projector. It is not a um, last all day type scent either. I, it doesn't go for more than a good six hours or so. Uh, you know, so it, it's it's a little. Um, it's just very enjoyable in the scent. So I don't mind reapplying, respraying Buontalenti. So does it smell like Minnie Mouse or Minnie Moore? I'd say it's it's similar to Minnie Mouse in its fluffiness and, and the dessert type, you know, nuance. But no, it has its different thing going on. I, I cannot say that, that they would be dupes of each other, um, you know. I just can't <laughs> so uh, but would I pair it with it play around with that I don't see why not I don't see why not although especially the mini more I think it might bulldoze bulldoze it <laughs> you know uh, you would need you would need like maybe one two sprays max of the mini more and then everywhere else the Buontalenti delicious um, on that same note we have another scent called Hayati uh, by um, let me get it straight I love this fragrance, uh, Hayati, right here. This one right here, the Atar Collection. Oh, I always bring up Hayati when I bring up Buentalenti because it's, now this is kind of in this very similar. Um, Hayati is a dessert type smelling fragrance as well. Um, so beautiful. <laughs> um, I do have a full review for Hayati as well. Okay, now let's layer it, you guys. Let's layer. Let's throw on that body care. I have I have some things. Let's start off with genre fragrances, though. I do have quite a few up here we have not reviewed yet on the channel. Um, since we're doing things that 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 interest me, this and it's a mix, I might throw some of these in. Um, genre perfumes, ginger esque, which is the Joe Malone ginger biscuit dupe. I do have that, and I will be playing around with it. Um, I think it could layer wonderfully with many more actually. I think it would make it like a, a cookie type, you know, dessert uh, smelling fragrance. Ginger Esque, I also have the lotion. So I would love to play around with that. The fragrance, the, the lotion, and the many more. I, I don't see why not. Uh, but what did I do though? I, I The minute that I seen the raspberry tones in many more, I said I need to pair this with my favorite raspberry scent to date in the entire collection. Entire collection, even if I already have raspberry fragrances, it don't matter. This one trumps all. <laughs> this is called Essence, again, by Genre Perfumes, and it has... It just an intoxicating, intoxicating scent, okay? Uh, compliments galore. Uh, when when people smell this on you, they're like, what are you wearing? It smells so good, so fruity, uh, you know? I did already go through an entire bottle. My friends helped me out when I offered up samples for many more. They went and took the rest of my essence. But that's okay, we had a backup. We had a backup and uh, I'm excited excuse me, I'm excited uh, that we already got started on this back up here. I also have a 15 ml. Now I always have the 15 mls in my purse. I did have one and uh, somebody was really interested so I sold it to them. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, you can have it. Um, oh man, I, I do pop this in my purse, you guys. I used to buy the little uh, travel sizes of the essence, which are this size, you guys, right here. But I just figured I use it so much so often and I blew through a few of those uh, small 5ml bottles that why not just carry the 15? <laughs> Essence, uh, raspberry tones. I feel like it gives Skittles a, a very, very wonderful candy-like raspberry scent. To me, it's not artificial artificial smelling. Um, it's just n n wonderful. <laughs> uh, this is a beautiful scent. Compared it, not compared it, combined it with many more, and I was in heaven, bliss. This was beautiful, you guys. Uh, what did I use for my layering base? I went with raspberry. I went with autumn drive. Autumn Drive, I did the lotion. Uh, this has wild raspberry, warm amber, and vanilla birch, and it goes perfectly with Essence. And it went wonderful with many more as well. 
Um, my newest raspberry or berry, I don't even think it's raspberry, berry obsession from Bath & Body Works is Together Weather. It has just a sweet, it marries marshmallow so well. This has blushing breeze, sugar cardamom, and soft cedar. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, next, cotton candy. Or, no, yeah, cotton candy. <sighs> yes, why not? Cotton candy dreams. We have spun cotton candy drink clouds. I'm sorry. Cotton candy clouds, spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. Um, it just goes perfectly with many more. Um, cotton candy dreams. Speaking of cotton candy dreams, it's right here. This is by the um indie brand called i don't know where the name coco pink <laughs> i'm like why can't i remember yes this goes wonderful this is candy candy um you know raspberry cotton candy dreams goes so well um i do have the order perform of cotton candy dreams by coco pink and uh, another one by coco pink would be your marshmallow cake on mondays now, Marshmallow Cake on Mondays is got this baker's, um, not spice, but like a, oh, just like a baker's touch. Like a, yeah, just one Marshmallow Cake on Mondays, you guys. You need to try this. I do have the body butter here, Voluptuous Body Butter. It just marries marshmallow so well. I say marry because they just can, you know, just, they just get together and they have a good time. Uh, many more and marshmallow cake on Mondays is a wonderful. Pink Indulgence also by Coco Pink would go nicely. I have the body spray to that. I do not have the eau de parfum. And uh, now moving into... Um, House of Glory, I have Pink Marshmallow Milk. This has magical pink berries and frothy cold milk. Oh, so you get the gist here, right? Anything, anything fluffy, marshmallow, berries, vanilla, any of that would just go wonderful with Minnie Moore, you guys. Oh my gosh, or the original, the original Minnie Mouse. I don't see why not. Um, now, I do have another one here, Tonka Bean Tea Cakes by House of Glory. It is fluffy little cakes flecked with lightly sweet tonka bean and coated in a delicate sugar glaze. If you want to just amp up that um, vanillic scent that is in Minnie Moore, because it's it's not amped up. It, it's just in there. Ooh, yes. This would make it so comforting, actually. Huh, I want to try that tonight. <laughs> tonka Bean Tea Cakes and Minnie Moore. Now... Um, marshmallow. I talked about marshmallow cake on Mondays and I have another couple of favorite marshmallows in the collection here. Ah, sorry. And this is Delicia de Marshmallow. Kais is currently taking a break. I saw their website is down at the moment, uh, but I believe they do also sell their goodies on Lucky Scent. Uh, this is Delicia de Marshmallow and it is a delectable wonderful marshmallow scent. I have the body butter and I have the order perform right here. It will go so well as a layering base with many more. And uh, next from the same company, Suchero Filato, which is cotton candy. And this one also I feel has uh, some wonderful, oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> I haven't worn it in forever. I'm freaking out that it's kind of has a dent in it. <laughs> Um, but I do spray it, you know, just sparingly because I, I don't have a huge bottle. Um, yeah, just so good, these scents. Uh, next, from Sugar Milk Company, we have Marshmallow Fluff, you guys. Oh my gosh, this one just goes candied, fluffy marshmallow. Oh, if if you want to hold on to that uh, fluffy, you know, youthful um, delectable tone that Minnie Mouse and Minnie Moore has, uh, I would go with Marshmallow Fluff. That would be my choice to keep it in that realm. Yeah, definitely. Marshmallow Fluff. Okay, so we're done with the raspberries, the marshmallow, the cotton candy vibes. Uh, next, my favorite. Last but not least, you guys, I do have some vanilla options. I do. Uh, let's start with the least vanillic. I would say this is the least vanillic because it has some other tones in there. I'm not able to de detect the berry tones that this says it has, but this is La Toffa Nebras and it is 
also just reminiscent to me so much of a dessert of it has an ice cream feel to it that it's I've always struggled with the cap to this it has such an ice cream feel oh man it's just it's there this is another scent just go ahead and apply it and you're gonna have no trouble smelling it you're gonna have no trouble all day long it's not a huge projector per se um but the enjoyability of it for yourself or your person is wonderful. Yeah, this is not one that travels a, a huge distance. Combining it with many more here though, oh my God, I just think that would be wonderful. All right, now vanilla. If you add vanilla, I had an awesome friend, uh, Shimmer Lex here on the channel, let me know that she paired Minnie Mouse, the original, she has the original, with, Vanier West Indies, or was it Mazorali? They smell exactly the same. So if you have Mazorali, go for it. If you have Vanier West Indies, go for it. Pairing that with Minnie Moore, she says, was amazing. So I can't wait to try the combo, you guys. Still in the hundreds here, though. I don't want to suffocate anyone going out with, with this wonderfulness here. It does have a bit of a cotton candy uh, vanillic dry down, and it does smell very similar to Vanier Owl Trimmer as well. Uh, you can find this on smallflower.com, uh, and yes, this would go wonderfully, at, probably because of that beautiful uh cotton candy dry down that they they both have now if you don't want to hone in on the cotton candy you want to make this rich i mean rich uh i would go with your wrapped in vanilla by bath and body works uh this has soft vanilla velvet sugar and chantilly cream and i would pair that you guys with jana perfumes own mellow vanilla which is actually inspired by mason maraja's escapade gourmand this is one of those fragrances uh that just made me buy it the first day i wear tested it and there, i don't have a lot of those and this was definitely one of them you guys escapade gourmand uh by mason maraja uh mellow vanilla comes so ridiculously close I do have a full review comparing the two. Uh, Mello Vanilla is a, one of Jana Perfume's just best sellers as well because who doesn't love a beautiful vanilla, rich, rich creme brulee scent? I know, I know I'm a huge sucker for that. <laughs> okay, that was it. Oh, that was a lot. Uh, but I did want to, just in case you do not click on the video, I'm going to link uh, for Buonta Lenti. I will link this review not the review for Buontalenti, but the layering combos video for Buontalenti, so you guys can check that out. Um, and just in case you don't do that, I wanted to go over layering with you guys. Um, yeah, that was about it. That was enough. <laughs> so much. Wonderful. If you have any questions, if I left anything out, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll answer that for you. And um, I hope that you enjoyed uh, this video and all the gourmand goodness as much as I did. Oh, and as much of I, as I've been enjoying wearing these. Uh, truly, truly love these this scent profiles. Oh, so good. <laughs> all right, guys, that was it for today. I hope that, again, you enjoyed it and y'all have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe. Bye-bye.